Welcome to what they're calling, Robbo, the greatest opening day in the history of the Commonwealth Games. I'm Mossy, he's Robbo, and this is Glasgow Gold. Mate, tell me what's happened today out and about, the social media frenzy, medals and tears and animes. Yeah, well, it's been, mate, it's been absolutely incredible, and I think you're right, it is unrivaled in terms of opening days. Uh, it's all about the Queen, and it's all about selfies, and I'm going to throw it out there. I think it's going to be the game's... Uh, of the selfie, the selfie games, and let's have a look at what happened. Uh, the Australian women's hockey team, as we know, the Hockey Roos, were big fans. Uh, oh, huge fans of the Hockey Roos. And aren't they big on social media? Well, uh, today, one little piece of social media has gone a long, long way. In fact, it's gone viral, and it involves the Queen. Let's have a look at what, what we're talking about here. So a very simple little selfie uh, involving the Queen looking down the barrel with a smile has ended up setting the world on fire, and it's got almost 10,000 uh, retweets. In fact, I think it's just ticked over 10,000, and uh, it's just got all the games buzzing about it in the village, outside the village, all around uh, the Commonwealth. Absolutely. So the Queen, she turns up to the hockey, and next thing you know, uh, Jay Taylor becomes uh, on the front page of the, the Times. Yeah, that's right, and uh, Brooke Paris is the other member of the Hockey Roos team there. She's a little bit uh, downplayed her role in it, but let's, you know, let's not forget she was right up there as well. But Mossy, what I want to do is tell the story from before what happened with that selfie there, and uh, you and I had a fair bit to do with it uh, as the Queen turned up at the hockey venue. Look who's turned up to the hockey. It's none other than Big Liz herself. Paying homage to the Australians in green. Yes, she turns up and uh, looked absolutely resplendent in Aussie green mm. there. And uh, look, we, we got a little bit of a win from one of the volunteers, said that she'd be there, yep. uh, particularly to see us. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, we, she, she couldn't make it to us because she was stuck in uh, selfie heaven down underneath the bowels of the stadium. Well, there you are, boys. First Commonwealth Games match, and uh, who should turn up? But QE2 herself. Mossy, I know uh, it's been on your list of things to do these games. You've now met the Queen. Yeah, I'm bloody emotional, mate. I have to admit that I come all this way, and I know she'd come to see me as well. But you know, this, this made my day, Robbo. Here we got Jumpy here. He's only uh, new to the Com Games. He's already met the Queen. Jumpy, uh, pretty ha happy with that, mate. Himself. And, and we look, we gave her a little bit of a heads up as she was walking into the bowels to say, look, the hockey roos are big on social media. Look out, they'll be taking selfies. If you can just look down the barrel, put on a smile, we're pretty sure it'll go viral. And uh, hey, presto, that's what happened. So, the, you know, it's amazing to see. And it, it's ended up on places like the BBC. Home to get involved in sharing your photos of where you're following the action over the next 11 days through the Commonwealth Commonwealth selfie. Uh, we believe it's going to be on the front page of the Times tomorrow. Uh, I think these girls will be dining out on this for many, many Commonwealth games to come. I don't know if they're going to keep playing hockey. They might be retiring yeah. on the strength of it. I think it's going to make the page as the Western Advocate out of Bathurst. Mossy, one, just, uh, one thing I need to just justify is the fact that Look, there's a lot of attention on the girls, but actually we did the selfie first. And uh, if you have a look at this here, uh, here's Mossy and I getting the photo with the Queen. And I th what ended up happening was the girls photoshopped it. Um, uh, pretty good at it too, actually. So uh, just remember that it all started with us. Uh, the kids these days. Now, mate, uh, we're here for the Commonwealth Games. Uh, it's not just all about uh, Instagram selfies and, <laughs> and the like. Um, a few medals handed out today. Yeah, look, it was extremely exciting. And uh, what about Australia opening up their account? Uh, Anna Mears, she had a massive night last night waving that flag around. Well, she comes out today on the Chris Hoy, the Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome, and only takes out the gold medal. And uh, we can see what the gold medal looks like here. It's looking beautiful. Um, a little bit better than our uh, medals that we've got here. But uh, no, it's great to see that. And as well, the Aussies just knocked over you know, four more gold medals as well. And so what we're going to do is we've got our pot of gold here, Mossy. And uh, each day when we get a gold medal, we're going to throw a gold coin into that one. So there's one for Anna Mears, uh, And on the track, 4,000 metre uh, men's team pursuit. Now, do gold, they, there's gold four medal. in that. Do they actually get four golds? Well, they do, but I've only got five coins. Oh, okay. so <laughs> 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 They're pretty expensive, the pounds, yeah. mate. The exchange rate's not great. Uh, Fool, it fools you, doesn't it? It does. Uh, fools gold. Emma McEwen in the pool, 200 metres freestyle. Don't mind uh, if you do. Women's 4 by 100 So she backed up and got her second gold uh, as part of that world record uh, uh, relay team. Sorry, I'm stuck for words. I'm starstruck. It's oh, hard, mate. I'm emotional about that. <laughs> Uh, and then Rowan Crothers, he was also in there. And uh, is that all of them? 
I think it was. I think it was four gold medals. So we'll five, make it five. Five. No, five no, it's five. Clive. Clive, Clive. So Anna Mears, the Team Pursuit, Emma McEwen, uh, women's four by 100, and the Rowan Crothers. So great day there uh, from the Aussies. I reckon this is going to be overflowing probably by the end of tomorrow. What do you reckon, how, how are we going in terms of against uh, the, the Poms in particular? Yeah, well, look, it's not good. It's not good news after day one. England's out in front. They had a bit of uh, success in the triathlon. Uh, so they're a shot to six gold medals, seven silver, four bronze, total 17. Australia hot on the heels. We've got five gold, three silver, and seven bronze, 15 overall. But Scotland, the host nation, and isn't it great to see the host nation doing well? Scotland's got an incredible four gold medals, three silver and three bronze, and they're on 10. Uh, India, two. Canada, two gold. New Zealand's even on the board with one gold. Uh, but Mossy, we've got to claw these English back. You got any ideas on how we can do it? Well, I think the first thing we can do is actually just start counting gold medals. I think we can just get rid of the bronze and the silvers. Um, it's, not called, it's not called Glasgow silver, exactly mate. Exactly right, mate. All bronze. This is Glasgow gold, my right. friend. Um, and, and look, the, I think the Poms have just played their cards or, you know, up uh, nice and quick. They've had the triathlons. We know they're pretty good at that. So I'm not concerned at this uh, part of the yeah. game. Good. Well, um, one idea that we've had is to combine, in order to take down the English, Combine Australia and Scotland's tallies if we need to, I like and it. Uh, we can probably take them down. And look at that! If uh, we do that now, well, we see uh, uh, Scotralia, Scotralia uh, straight like on it. nine gold. Hashtag, hashtag that stuff. Yeah, Scotralia straight onto nine gold, uh, dusting up the English on six. So we'll see how that pans out. Uh, that might be how we can get around these uh, English. Yeah, speaking of Scotralia, uh, obviously here in Scotland. They big on the redheads, which is very I'm very uh, emotional when I turn up here, and I, I'm not a minority group when I come through here. Uh, what we've decided to do is that each day we're going to pay uh, homage, as a, the French would say, to a uh, a ginger who has gone out there and won a medal. Now I want to set a little bit of context mm. here because yesterday we were out there, pretty much in the centre of Glasgow, and I caught up with this bloke who's got red hair just like me. Glasgow, George Square for the Ginger Games, and here we go. We've got me, mate. What do you reckon is going to happen? Uh, I think the Gingers are probably going to do pretty well. Uh, we are a genetically robust race, so we've got what it takes. So there you go, Robo, the, the Ginger. What do you reckon? Yeah, what about that? Uh, superiorly robust, and uh, I've heard it talked up. These Gingers, they've got a special, uh, you know. Well, we're of... superiorly robust. That's that's for sure. Now today. The ginger of the day is this bloke here, silver medal. Um, an English bloke uh, was in the four by... That uh, was the 4,000 metre team pursuit. Right. They lost to the Aussies, uh, but he was the best uh, ginger on, on the track. And uh, yeah, he's our ginger of the day. Now, speaking about the day, Robbo, uh, we had a chance to get Oot in a Boot Aye. today. Aye. Aye. There's a few different uh, languages uh, out there, but Oot in a Boot uh, today. What did we do, Robbo? Well, Mossy, we went straight to Hamilton train station. Uh, we're here at Hamilton Studios. We went down the road, got on the train there, and uh, I've got to say, there's something very exciting happening with the Double X Games here in Glasgow. If you have a ticket to a sporting event, and today we were off to the hockey, so we travelled free. That's right. The games organisers, they're giving away free travel, and uh, it's a stroke of genius. And I'm actually calling it the free train agreement. Oh, nice. So uh, that was fantastic to be able to use that. And we've got... We, we, did, we had a couple of spare days, but we've gone on the strength of this. We've gone and got tickets just so we can get on the trains for free. So train tickets, no longer. We don't need them. We've got the free train agreement, and uh, we'll be using that as much as we can. But, Mossy, uh, yeah, we headed into the Glasgow National Hockey Centre, Australia versus Malaysia. It was uh, the first event to kick off the entire Games, um, and great to be there. Uh, we can have a bit of a look at some of the uh, what we got up to here. It was, it was great. We got down onto... Uh, onto the train, we got into the ground. Let's roll some tape here and see how it went. Well, here we are, the opening day's action. We're at Hamilton Central, just about to head in to watch the women's hockey robo. Should be a great match. Can't wait to see the hockey roos. Revolution. we can't wait to get there and cheer them on to a great win. What about you, mate? Just uh, let's go all the way out there and say, who's gonna score the first goal? I think it's gonna be the goalie in a very controversial move. She'll be making an attacking move and she'll come up for the first penalty corner. And uh, she'll get the first one there. So Lynchy, I reckon the first goal is yours. Hey, have fun! Who are you going for, boys? Hockey. Australia.
And as you can see here, Robbo, a little bit of footage. Uh, we had a chance. Uh, I was only 3 nil up at half time. We had the chance to jump in the coaches' mm. chairs there and uh, provide a bit of inspiration for the girls uh, for the second half. Yeah, no, it was good. And uh, we're more about defence. Uh, we didn't want a lot of goals. We actually wanted them to hold off scoring too many. And uh, they did that. They only just got the one goal in the second half. Um, look, I was very happy with our performance. Uh, and... It was great that it paid off. Uh, it looks like we've got the job full time. And that wasn't the big game. That was the, the prelude, mm. like the curtain raiser to uh, the hockey, the junior hockey that we uh, had out there. Yeah, outside. well, no, it's very, you're very generous with your time, Moss. You're conducting a masterclass uh, on shooting from just inside the D, and yeah, it was great. We look forward to doing that further down the track. But uh, no, great day at the hockey. Well, can definitely uh, encourage everyone to get out there and gold. check it out. Hi, I'm Madeline Heiner, and you're watching Mossy and Robbo's Glasgow Gold. Speaking of checking it out, Robbo, we sent our man on the ground, Josh Cal Callanan, Clyde side. Yeah, look, and special mention for Cal. He's the hardest working member of the Mossy and Robbo team. And uh, look, we he wanted to come home for a little sleep. We said, no, Cal, we've got triathlon on this afternoon. Uh, we, we wanted to sleep, so uh, we sent Cal down there. And he got out to the men's triathlon at the Strathclyde Country Park. And let's see how it went. Ron Simon at Strathclyde Park for Mossy and Robbo on Glasgow Bowl. It's a beautiful Glasgow day. Let's go out and see the colour and excitement here amongst the Scottish people. It's buzzing. How hey, good is this weather? Oh, it's fantastic. It's obviously like this in It's always like this. I got told it was going to be grey skies. I had to pack tracksuit pants. And here you guys are sunbaking on a Scottish summer's day. What's going on? Well, we just keep it there. <laughs> Keep it under the hat. Yeah, yeah. You know what they say in last week, so the sun comes out, it's caps out. <laughs> Out of the swing league, we're off to the cycle. Big cheer for the Scottish bloke. He was falls, Mark Austin, the Brownlee boys. The Aussies will bring it home. In the midst of the triathlon, and I've met Nick and Maddie, who, well, it appears they've got a bet on each way. What's going on here? Oh, I'm from down south, and I live up here now. Oh, and there couldn't be a better scenario right here, right now. The Brownlee boys, the English top two, and Mark Austin in third. You guys must be wrapped. Absolutely awesome if it kicks off. Off this way, if Mark can keep his legs and keep up with the Brownlees, we're laughing for a good day. It's all wrapped up here at Strathclyde Park, and although it didn't go the way of the Scottish or the Australians, it was all gold to the British. They've now won gold with Alistair Brownlee in the men's and with Stimson in the women's. Fantastic day of racing under a Glasgow sun. The Aussies fifth, eighth, and ninth in the men's, three in the top ten. That's not gold, that's Glasgow gold. Back to you, Mossy and Robbo. So some interesting characters there, Robbo. Yes, the triathlon and and the heat brought all sorts of characters out. So great work. We might even duck back up there or we'll send Cal there on Saturday when the triathlon teams are back in action. Now, as we do every single day, we pay our respects mm. to Robbie Burns, the uh, national hero of Scotland. He wrote most of the uh, the words to every single book in the whole of Scotland. Uh, and we, as we talk about, we, why not uh, speak to one of the athletes or get one of them to reveal some of uh, Burns' greatest works? Yep, and who better to do it than Queensland 400 metre runner Craig Burns? It's good to be merry and wise. It's good to be honest and true. It's good to support Caledonia's cause and bide by the buff and the blue. Now, what about tomorrow? What's uh, what's the action going to be like for us and for everyone well, here in Glasgow? Well, Mossy, you thought today was uh, big, and uh, tomorrow it only gets bigger. You're kidding me. No, it does. We've got tickets to the hottest uh, venue and the hottest sport in town. Ping pong. No, we're off to the lawn bowls. So we're off to Kelvin Grove, uh, where the giant Clyde is, the floral Clyde. We want to get there and give him a high five. But uh, Friday afternoon, uh, 3.30 rolls around, you know, finishing work. Uh, it's a nice summer's day. What do you want to do? You want to go and watch some people bowl. Oh, that's exactly right. That's what I've been doing my whole life. So. Yeah, and uh, look, uh, they'll have you know meat raffles on there, no doubt. Uh, we might even sign up as members of the <laughs> club. And uh, we'll you definitely see. have to sign in as a social member. Well, we're, anyway. at, we're we're certainly outside the five k radius. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So uh, no, I can't, I can't wait for the bowls. Again, I've not ever been to any Commonwealth Games bowls in my life. You're in for a treat, and, my friend. And uh, I, I cannot wait for that. So it's just hit after hit here. Um, better get some sleep in because it's just going to be too exciting, and uh, I'm going to burn out pretty soon. I almost lost my voice at the hockey today, so I need to just take it steady. That's exactly right. A few throat lozenges might just see you through the next. 
10 days of play. Well, that wraps up the greatest opening day in the history of the Commonwealth Games. Mossy, last thing, we've got to get a, uh, it's the selfie games. And I thought what we should do is get ourselves a nice little selfie here. All right, oh, there we go. That's gold, Robbo. No, Mossy, that's Glasgow gold.